It's 10 trivia questions on John Hughes movies, Chicago Cubs, Blink-182, and more for the birthday boy, George, turning 40. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for helping me celebrate my friend George's 40th birthday. George Cobb, happy, happy, happy birthday. Your awesome wife, Courtney, reached out to me and said, hey, for my husband's birthday, can we do a special episode just for him? He loves the Chicago Cubs and Stephen King and the Patriots and John Hughes movies and 90s and 2000s alt music. And I said, sure thing, Courtney. So that's what we got for you today, George, I'm sure amongst other gifts, uh, but thanks for celebrating with the Trivia with Buds podcast. We've got a great episode coming up just for you, but before we get to that, we have a couple of warm-up questions on your birthday bash episode. Here we go. First one is, what novel sparked a trendy tour from Budapest to Romania's Bran Castle for a Halloween bash? The answer is Dracula. Dracula, that trendy tour sparked by Dracula. The next one here, what did Pamela Anderson alter her Tommy tattoo to read after splitting with Tommy Lee? She switched it to Mommy. Mommy. And for movies, what actor has tackled the roles of John Holmes, Jim Morrison, and Doc Holliday? That is the great Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. And uh, there's a great documentary about Val Kilmer filming a bunch of stuff in his life. I think it's on Amazon. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. All right. It is time for George Cobb's 40th birthday celebration. All kinds of great trivia coming at you right about now. Here we go. I can't believe I'm married to someone so old, but... Damn, 40's looking good on you, says Courtney to George for George's 40th birthday. And we're diving into your quiz right now. Happy birthday, George. Here's number one at Wrigley Field. What happens if the ball lands in the ivy and gets stuck there? What is the rule if the ball gets stuck in the ivy at Wrigley Field? Number one. Question number two, what Stephen King novel follows Johnny Smith, who awakens from a coma after five years with clairvoyant visions? Number two, what Stephen King novel follows Johnny Smith, who awakens from a coma after five years with clairvoyant visions? Question number three, in 1970, what caught fire underneath the stands of a New England Patriots game? Number three, in 1970, what caught fire underneath the stands of a New England Patriots game? Question four, what John Hughes movie used the tagline, he's crude, he's crass, he's family? Number four, what John Hughes movie used the tagline, he's crude, he's crass, he's family? Question number five, what band had the song Pretty in Pink used in the John Hughes movie of the same name? Number five, what band had the song Pretty in Pink used in Pretty in Pink? Number six, who's the only Chicago Cub to win back-to-back MVP awards? Number six, who's the only Chicago Cub to win back-to-back most valuable player awards? Question number seven, the start to what 2009 Stephen King book features an army captain named Dale Barbie Barbara trying to leave the town but can't due to an unforeseen barrier. Number seven, what Stephen King book has an unforeseen barrier from 2009? Question eight, what MLB team drafted Tom Brady as a catcher who didn't play in 1995? Number eight, what MLB team drafted Tom Brady as a catcher who didn't play in 1995? Question number nine, what Goo Goo Doll song starts with the line, and you asked me what I want this year? Number nine, what Goo Goo Doll song starts with the line, and you asked me what I want this year? 
And question number 10, what Blink-182 album features the song First Date? What Blink album features the song First Date? George, those are all of your questions for your birthday quiz today. Again, happiest, happiest birthday for me to you. Courtney, pick some good categories. We'll be back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to George's 40th birthday bash trivia. Here's number one. It's a ground rule double. That's what you get if the ball lands in the ivy and gets stuck there at Wrigley Field at a Cubs game. Ground rule double. Number two, the Stephen King novel with Johnny Smith with clairvoyant visions after a coma of five years is The Dead Zone. The Dead Zone in the movie played by Christopher Walken, the TV series Anthony Michael Hall. Number three, in 1970, what caught fire underneath the stands of a New England Patriots game? That was a malfunctioning popcorn machine. Popcorn machine, nobody seriously injured, but you can look it up from 1970. Number four, what John Hughes movie used the tagline, he's crude, he's crass, he's family. Uncle Buck, one of my favorites, Pancakes with a Snow Shovel. Number five, what band had the song Pretty in Pink in the John Hughes movie of the same name? One of my favorite 80s bands, top three for sure. Maybe number one, I don't know for sure. But it's Psychedelic Furs. Psychedelic Furs, if you've never listened to them, listen to their greatest hits. They'll bring you right back to that decade. And uh, man, love that band, Psychedelic Furs. Saw them live in LA a couple years ago. Number six, who is the only Cub to win back-to-back MVP awards? That's Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks, 1958-1959. Number seven, what Stephen King book has the unforeseen barrier with Dale, Barbie, Barbara trying to leave the town that's under the dome? I always thought that was a crazy idea for a uh, plot where you just suddenly can't leave this dome in your town. And I think they made it into a mini series that I've been meaning to watch from over the years. I don't think it lasted very long. I'm gonna have to look that up. Number eight, what MLB team drafted Tom Brady as a catcher who didn't play in 1995? The Montreal Expos. Expos. Number nine, the Goo Goo Dial song that starts the line and you ask me what I want this year is Better Days. Better Days, one of their top songs. And number 10, First Date, the Blink-182 song about going on a first date is on the album Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Take Off Your Pants and jacket. What a great title. What a great band. Blink-182. And that concludes George Cobb's 40th birthday bash. Thank you so much for listening and playing along with George to celebrate his amazing milestone birthday. Uh, that is the episode for today, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Check out etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds and pick up some t-shirts, books, and more. Fact of the day is over 50% of commercial pilots have admitted to falling asleep while flying a plane. That's terrifying. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more trivia with buds. Cheers.